Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I just, you know, I just enjoy that moment a lot, and uh, and I'm so happy that finally everything that we were planning uh, was uh, we made it in the cage, and uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, last two years was kind of hot for me, very very hot actually. <laughs> Uh, since I got to UFC, uh, I was not able to put myself together because I was pressing myself too much. And uh, on the moment when I lost for my last fight, I was just like, damn, what I'm doing? And uh, we were talking a lot with my, with my coach and we decided to make a, a lot of uh, some um, changes in my training and mostly it was about my mentality. And almost uh, my training was uh, uh, just focused on being uh, confident in my skills and being confident in myself. Because before, every time when I got to, to UFC, uh, I was just overpressing myself. You know, like, I'm the first Lithuanian, uh, uh, I'm the first, not Lithuanian, but the girl from Lithuania and the fighter from Lithuania, all, all, all. And I always wanted to prove that it's possible to uh, be training in Lithuania, in my home country, uh, and to get to the highest level and to win in the highest level. And every time those words was just overpressing me. And uh, I think that stuff was very bad for me. And uh, on that pre uh, fight preparation, we just decided just get it off, enjoy the moment. Remember, I was remembering a lot about my mentality, how I used to fight in the past. And uh, you know, in the past I used to say that uh, I'm in martial arts because I love it. I love it with, with all my heart. I love it so badly. Uh, I changed fully my life. I had, I was able to to live normal life. Uh, like I have education in our profession. I could live normal life and uh, be happy with that. But I smashed it all on the side, uh, and uh, I'm living uh, the fighter's life now. And uh, for me, it always was like just enjoy the moment, enjoy what you are doing, what you love, and the wins are just bonuses. The wins, the belts, and so on. And with that mentality, I came here. Just enjoy the moment. Enjoy that you are in the biggest stage of UFC. Enjoy that you're in this huge arena, in this huge event of the year, and just uh, show who, who the hell you are. <laughs> well, you mentioned uh, everything that you guys had planned came together in the octagon. Were you expecting her to come out that aggressive early? Because it looked like you guys were striking at first, and then you level changed. So right when it hit the octagon, did you know I'm going to grab this armbar right away? Um, you know, like, we were expecting a couple of things, uh, yeah, that she will be aggressive uh, in her striking for sure. Uh, and she wasn't straight away. Uh, she still was uh, looking for some stuff. Uh, it wasn't like first, second and the uh, strikes. Uh, she still was looking for her moment and she just uh, used uh, my mistake and yeah, actually a couple of punches I got, they was pretty good, but uh, uh, thanks God I was able to, to, to deal with it. Uh, just and just like level changed and, the, and did my job. And your victory is the second fastest submission in the USC women's bantamweight history. So what do you make of that record? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I just heard it uh, in the course of it, like on another interview, they told me that and uh, I, I was shocked. <laughs> you know, like to be able to do such a fast submissions, it's not a uh, surprise for me uh, by myself, but to be able to do that in the UFC, <laughs> that's a different story. <laughs> Have you ever broken someone's arm like that before? Uh, you know, I'm fighting for a lot of years. I'm in fight business for 16 years. Uh, like uh, in mixed martial, I'm in mixed martial arts for 17 years, uh, and I had a couple of fights uh, in MMA, couple of fights in jiu-jitsu where I do regret that I did it too soft. And those uh, like moments when I uh, lost those submissions, uh, they uh, just. They, uh, they teach me to smack, smack it until the referee is not stopping. And this is what I'm doing now every, every time when I'm getting submission. If I get submission, I'm going to smack it uh, until the referee will stop. Of course, I don't want to injure my opponents and so on, but uh, it's up to them when to tap. And if she's not tapping, I'm going to do my work. You have a lot of submission victories already in your career, but how much did you take away from Jessica Rose Clark's loss to Stephanie Egger in her last fight? It was also a first round submission loss. Um, sorry, one. So Jessica's last fight was also a first round armbar loss. Did you take away a lot from that fight going into your fight with Jessica Rose Clark? 
you know, my style and Stephanie's style is uh, kind of different. She is judoka. I know her pretty well because we fought in jiu-jitsu with her. Uh, and uh, I think our style, the style how we catch submissions, how we uh, take people down are different. So I could not take that completely. But uh, the thing that uh, I already knew that she lost in the past uh, by Amber, it gave me more confidence that I can, can do uh, that on her for sure. Yeah. And I know we're just coming off a quick win, but any idea when you'd like to have your next fight? Uh, when would you like to get back in there? My only wish now is to stay in the UFC. You know, I have, uh, I understand my position right now. I have uh, three losses in the past. And the only thing that I want now is to stay in the UFC. That's it. So who to fight next? I don't care. Okay, and just last thing for me, is there any fun matchups in the division that you're looking at as far as the next opponent? You said it there, you're not gonna call anyone out or anything, but you look at the division and say, hey, that would be a really fun fight. I never choose openings. Uh, every time, whatever UFC or, whatever UFC is bringing me on the table, I always take those fights. I took the fights, uh, you know, if to look who I fought before, I was basically was going from the top to the bottom. And I never passed my fights. Uh, I got uh, number eight, Kunitska, on my first fight with uh, nine uh, days uh, notice. Uh, I got uh, later number 15, and the third fight was against uh, uh, ex-contender, title contender. That's a tough fight for sure. All the three fights are, are tough, and I never, uh, I never said no for any fight in my whole career. And uh, I don't care who they're gonna give me. Um, you said you're living a fighter's just over here. You said you're living a fighter's lifestyle now. Um, how how has that affected you mentally and physically going into this Saturday? Uh, I'm living fighter's life for a long time actually. Uh, so if to know my like my story is that um, in 2011 I finished school and I came to Golnas to another city from my hometown uh, for my studies in dental hygiene. And I was studying for four years dental hygiene here, and the, during those years I met my coach, Donato Suktoris. And he actually made me an MMA fighter. I already had background for six years in karate, but he completely changed the, all my striking. He built my jiu-jitsu from the beginning. Uh, by my, basically, he made me an MMA fighter of everything that I, like, I know right now. He, and he even needed to change a lot. And uh, the thing is, after four years of studying, uh, I had my degree, I could have a good life and everything, and I decided like, I cannot fight and uh, do something else, I will not be successful. On those uh, years, my record was uh, bad, pretty bad, because I, I, I was losing fights, uh, I lost two fights in a row, because I could not focus just on fighting. And uh, things got my, my parents are so supportive to me, and uh, they were helping me through a lot of years. Basically, until I did not get to UFC, they were helping me uh, not only emotionally but financially uh, through all my years. On the gap when uh, I, was, uh, I was out from UFC after the tough and I was able to come back to UFC, uh, they always also supported me uh, financially. So, you know, like, this is important for me to be here also so I can live my life fully and uh, uh, I cannot feel the shame that uh, I'm still taking parents, uh, uh, money from my parents. You know, a little bit sweet of you then, you know, given your background and your story. Oh yeah, for sure. We have a long story. I'm doing that so much, with, like, especially with my coach. You, that's such a long story. I'm, like, I'm telling you, during the last, since February, we were talking so much and we were remembering so many stories. That's, uh, I think I, I, should, uh, I, sh I should write a book one day. <laughs> I think every, every fighter is telling that, but yeah, I, I have a lot of what to tell. <laughs> yeah, I cannot tell that just in one sentence. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Can we get right here? In the back. Um, just one, just uh, obviously getting this quick victory. Uh, how do you plan to celebrate? Obviously, you got the win early in the night. <laughs> My, my best friend Tabata Richie, she's a UC fighter also. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my party girl, so we're gonna celebrate for sure. <laughs> Trust me. Congrats. And uh, I really wanna watch you all the cards, so yeah. <laughs>